And if that weren't enough, Newton overturned accepted wisdom about how colors are produced. Performing an experiment on himself with a large needle, or bodkin. I took a bodkin and put it between my eye and the bone, as near to the back side of my eye as I could. And pressing my eye with the end of it, so as to make the curvature in my eye, there appeared several white, dark, and colored circles. Fortunately, Newton found a safer way to investigate light and color, using a prism. From Aristotle to Descartes, scientists thought sunlight, or white light, was pure. Colors were produced by physically modifying white light, which they believed passing it through a prism did. But Newton decided to see for himself. Sending sunlight through a prism, he produced the spectrum of colors. And then he went one step further. He sent the red ray of light through a second prism. Instead of making a new color, it remained red. Newton concluded that white light is not pure, but a combination of all the colors of the rainbow. He thought of the prism actually as a separator of the objects that are all in the original light. This was very hard for almost everybody to swallow because it meant that when you're looking at white light, you're looking at something which has all the colors already in it. This seemed completely counterintuitive, and indeed, frankly, it's counterintuitive to most people today.